Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Welcome in if you're just new. I'm in here. I said the other day I had uh, another tea moo haul. Well, I'm in today here and I'll show you all what I bought. As you know, I'm going to try and make another wreath. I'm going to try and make a wreath and a mantelpiece thing. I got this here. As you can see, it's the green monster. And it's for going into your tree or into your wreath or something like that. You know, his legs are poseable. That's a fair size. It's 40 centimetres, maybe 40 centimetres plus. And I paid £3.23 pence for it. Now, I know for a fact, in Britain, there are people selling them as wreath attachments for 20 quid. 20 pound they're selling them for is a wreath attachment in quite a lot of places, not just one pre place. Right, I got these, I got a couple of these. I got them in that colour and in the red. This order's literally just came. Try and open it up for you and see what it looks like. The only thing with these is they shed really bad with the glitter, so you have to be quite careful with them. I'm just going to try and cut this bag off. Yeah. I should have done that before I come in. See what I mean? Look. You get a lot of shading on them. I think there's 45 pieces. No, there is 20 pieces in these ones. The design itself is 18 centimetres. The overall size is 30 centimetres. These are just plastic, so they're not really poseable. You would need to spray that with hairspray or something before you used it. It really is quite loose. As I said, there's 20 pieces in that and I paid £2.55. I'm just going to put this all back in there. Stripper glitter everywhere. Um, yeah, £2.55 for them, 20 pieces. And I get two colours, I get the red and the green. Just taking that back up there. Jeez. I'm going to tip this bag out here. Because it's a nuisance snipping in and out of it. Stuff to the side. Right, I should have been better prepared, but I wasn't. This here is a box of these wee berries. Now the bottom bit's posable. Let me see. Top bit's posable as well. The berries are not posable, they're just plastic stems. Again, the decoration is about 14 centimetres long, overall 22 centimetres. I don't know, I've no idea how many were in this actually. 30 pieces. 30 pieces for £5.39. And yesterday when I was out making my picks I found a bag with some of these that I had but they'll not go wrong because you use quite a few of them in a wreath. So it'll only go wrong. I got some Green Monster Glitter. I never wrote the price on this. I'm sure it was £3.47 because I couldn't find it in the bag. £3.47 and I think that's the 20 gram bag. So there is quite a lot of it in there. Next I got these wee candies. They're toys. There's two, four, six, eight, ten in a bag, three bags, 
30 pieces and it was £2.71. The size of the candy canes, two se the, the peppermint swirl, sorry, is two centimetres. Now I can use them in my other crafts, no just wreath making. Sorry for the rustling. These here were these here. I bought these, it said they were wooden, but they're no wooden, they're only paper. But they're not going to go to you go to waste because I've ordered three inch um styrofoam discs as well. So if I put that on a three inch styrofoam disc, I could put crystal glaze or a resin topping over the top of that and that would make that waterproof. Either that or I can go and buy a Mod Podge and put the weatherproof Mod Podge on it as well to make it weatherproof for on a wreath. Right, there is 16 pieces in it and they were a pound odds. £1.79 and I get two packets of them. Now if I'm putting it on like a mantelpiece wreath, it's over the top of the fire, obviously with unsafe distance. They would be okay, but if I was putting them outside, they would need waterproofed. But I can do that, that's not a problem. This stuff here was £2.18 and it is, I think it's one and a half metres, if I remember. And you know how I was doing the pits and I was swirling the two colours of wool? Well, I thought I could do it with this, but this is just like roving. I don't know if you know what roving is. That's all that is. I could separate that and do my own thing with it. I could even make it into thinner strands if I wanted to. It's only carded, uncarded wool. So, I don't know whether to keep it together or to separate it and use it as something. But I will use it, it will come in handy for something. Really soft, really, really soft. Again, I think it's 1.2 or 1.5 metres. Yeah, I've got my glasses here. 1.2 metres it was, and it was £2.18. Pence. Next thing is these. Again, these are shedding something terrible. Now, this said 45 pieces. And when I opened that up, I'm looking at it and I'm saying there's no way there's 45 pieces in there. But there is, because I counted them. Well, they absolutely stink. Stink! Ma, I don't know, you could use that. It's not even a nice smell, it's foul, it's rotten. Poo! It's like proper fishy smell, it's no nice at all. Mm -mm. I don't know that I would use them because they absolutely stink. I mean, I could leave them out in the craft hut or in the garage or something to air and see if they'll air, but geez, oh, you couldn't put that in your house. Anyway, they were £2.67, but. They're humming. I'll set it up there. Right, this here was a good buy. I'll turn this over that way. This was £11.16, which seems a lot. I know it seems a lot, but each roll has got nine metres on it, and there's six rolls. So it was a good it's a good amount. And it's wired so it's pausable, you can... Oh, this stinks as well. Not as bad as they balls, but it still does stink. I'm assuming it's like the dye that they use. And as I'm looking at them, I'm going to take them. They've got a pin in them, but the pins are all bent. And I reckon that would... 
maybe rust into there. So again, there's nine metres on each roll. There's six rolls. I got the red and white for the green monster theme. Actually, where's my wee bag? Candy canes, peppermints. And they'll be brilliant in a wreath. Just layers of ribbon. And then I've got the same roll except in white. The peppermint sweets. I've got two more Timu orders and an eBay order still to come in. just your spots and stripes but as you can see they go perfect they go perfect with the green monster so they do and ribbon in the UK just now is really expensive if you can get to Costco and grab it there for the 40 metre lengths you're laughing, but if you can't get to Costco, holy moly, it's extortionate. They're looking for like £3 upwards for a metre of ribbon. And I just wouldn't pay that. There you go, your spots and dots. And you can see there is, there's quite a lot on it. I know it says 9 metres, but actually... Sometimes it says that and it doesn't feel like it, but that definitely feels like nine metres. The rolls are solid. And there's a, just a different spotty one. So all in that order, I think, was about 30-something pound. There you go. But I mean, all of this isn't just for one wreath. I would get several wreaths and several six-foot garlands out of this stuff. Because you don't use everything in every wreath or garland. So that's that haul there. I'll come back and I'll fill these in when I have the rest of the stuff in. I'll be making some more picks because I've got some more ideas for them. And then I'll bring these back, show you them and I will... Bring his back when I'm making the these. Oh, I've got these. These are not for Christmas, these are for Halloween. Remember, was it last year I made the uh, Winifred Sanderson and I made the false teeth? Well, I had an idea for teeth again, so I bought these. These are just like wee fake teeth. What does it say? Multicoloured resin teeth. They were 179. One ninety-seven for a set of teeth, but I'm either going to make like a hair clip with them, or rings, or put them in a hairband or something like that. I'm kind of thinking along that lines this year. They're actually really good. Ah, they feel quite nice. So that was that, one ninety seven for a set of teeth. I'm waiting on some Halloween deco mesh coming in. Ordered four rolls of that the other night for £79. Eh, £17. £79, that would be good. So, I love you and ladies at that. I'll bring these back when I have the rest of my stuff in. And... I'll see you all again the next time. Bye.